seconds. TLS is go for auto sequence start. T minus 27 seconds and counting. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 18 seconds. 15. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Endeavor and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We're go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavor, completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out of this world space laboratory. Houston Endeavor, roll program. Roger, roll Endeavor. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavor's roll maneuver is being completed. It's now going into a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Miles per hour, one mile in altitude, and seven miles downrange already from the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour's engines were throttle, throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Engines on board are throttling back up, Endeavour flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 10 miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed 4.5 million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. One minute, 33 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,900 miles per hour, 17 miles in altitude, and 16 miles downrange. All systems continue to function well. Endeavour has three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We'll be standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Looks like a picture Booster perfect liftoff for Endeavor. I've been down there, separated. seen a few of them. It's pretty amazing feeling the ground shake. Joining me now, former shuttle astronaut Tom Jones. Tom, it is amazing every time Endeavor you see the shuttle launch. Uh, it's just it's just a neat thing to see. It's great seeing my ship. I flew it a couple of times, Endeavor, and two of my good friends are on this crew, so I'm really there with them in spirit. And all seven of those astronauts right now have just had the ride of their life uh, pinned back to their seats with about twice the force of gravity right now. You know, this mission is a long mission, 16 days. It's not the longest mission, but uh, they will be up there for a while. What is, what is this mission trying to accomplish? Uh, three big objectives. They've got a, a back porch to deliver to the Japanese laboratory. That's the exposed facility where a lot of science experiments will be installed. So that's 9,000 pounds of gear to add to the space station complex. Then they'll change out some batteries on the oldest solar array truss to power the space station and give that uh, solar power wing new life. And finally, they'll put in place a lot of long-term spares, like a, a pump assembly and uh, a, a spare radio antenna so that long-term the space station can continue functioning and being productive. For folks who don't follow the space program, is the International Space Station going along as planned? Uh, is this uh, a program that uh, the U.S. feels invested in and that it's a good thing for the, the country and the world? I think the country should feel that we're really um, su succeeding at the space station effort after a long series of delays with the Columbia accident six years ago, uh, problems with funding along the way, but now it's almost fully complete. Six astronauts now living aboard for the first time, and you've got the full productivity of the space station about to be with us and yield a lot of good research 
results. As we continue to look at these live pictures, uh, what's going through the minds of those astronauts aboard <laughs> uh, right this second? Well, if they have a moment to think about it, I think they're thinking, boy, I'm glad that month of delay is behind us because now they're on their way for the mission they've trained for. Uh, four rookies on this crew experiencing spaceflight for the first time. And I think the biggest challenge for those folks, three of them are going to be spacewalkers. So they're not, they're not only on their first space trip, but they're going to be going outside to help build the space station in just a few days. It's uh, still, as we continue to look at those live pictures from space, an amazing sight. From your view vantage point, everything went according to plan? So far, it looks very clean. I haven't heard of a single systems call up to the crew, so Endeavor's performing very well. And uh, that's a good sign that they'll get uh, the mission off to a great start. Two days from now, they'll be docking at the space station. The day after that, the first of five spacewalks begins. Okay. Tom Jones, former shuttle astronaut, thanks so much. Uh, it is an amazing sight, and that's why we bring it to all our viewers. Appreciate it. Also, uh, as we continue to look at live pictures, we have a special coming up Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, Fox News special called Apollo 11, One Small Step to Our Future. It commemorates the 40th anniversary of man's landing on the moon. Be sure to check that out. And uh, it looks like a picture-perfect launch.